Hey everybody, do you remember Josh Feirstein, the brilliant mind who continues to shit nuggets of good old Christian creationist wisdom out of his fat face hole? You know, this guy. Looks like Kevin James and Fred Durst had a baby with Down syndrome. Yeah, you remember old Josh. Well, he's got a new video out today called Dear Atheists. That's right, Atheists. This is the University of Common Sense with your host, this guy right here, Professor Josh Feirstein, and I'm going to go ahead and break down today's lesson, atheism and other things that just don't make sense. Here we go. So this is now no longer just Josh Feirstein. This is Professor Josh Feirstein of Common Sense University. He's got a PhD in Common Senseology. I've always thought of Josh as a very common sense kind of guy. He has the common sense to realize that the prevailing scientific explanations for the cosmos and for the diversity of life are all just bunk. He knows the commonsensical truth that we were all magicked into being by an ill-tempered but all-powerful patriarch who hates gay people. You know, I'm sitting here in my 2001 Toyota minivan when all of a sudden I start looking around wondering where it came from. I mean, maybe this was the result of some cosmic accident like atheism believes that I was. That uh, maybe this, is, this Toyota minivan has somehow evolved over millions and millions of years. Okay. No, it was built in a Toyota factory in, you know, 2000, 2001. You know that to be true because that's common knowledge. We know that a Toyota minivan is designed because it was designed by men. And women, I guess, too, working at Toyota. No one is confused about the origins of the fucking minivan. And so I start looking and studying and I realize that, well, this steering wheel is perfectly placed in front of the driver and now I have all of my knobs for washing the windshield and here is the ability to shift the transmission and then look, I mean, I've, I've got ability to shift gears, turn the car on, I've got AC, radio, vents, clock, everything is perfectly placed and then I started thinking, maybe it was designed that way. Well, of course it's perfectly placed. It was placed there by automotive engineers who painstakingly made sure that everything was placed in the most easy to use and convenient spot. And of course, we all know where Josh is going with this, so let's just let him get there. Then I started thinking about me. I mean, think about it. If you look at the eyes perfectly placed on the face, right on each side of the nose, the mouth right here, the ears here, ready to hear. I mean, if you start thinking about the human body, even human sexuality, the way that everything fits together, wouldn't you think that it was designed intelligently? Let me ask you a simple question, Josh. How do you know that your eyes are perfectly placed on your face? Plenty of animals do not have forward-facing eyes. A lot of animals have their eyes placed at the side, so their field of vision is wider. If we were a race of super intelligent horses, there might be a, reta a retarded uh, Josh Horstein character saying that his eyes being placed on the side are perfectly placed. If you had one big ear in the middle of your forehead and you breathe through holes in the back of your neck and you ate through a series of tubes coming out of your fingers, you could still make this video talking about your perfect design. You only think the design of human, being, human beings is, is perfect because you aren't thinking critically. I mean, look at you. You're fat. You feel compelled to eat too much because something in your brain just makes you gluttonous. And I'm the same way. You want some concrete ways in which the design of every human being is flawed? I think you should check out a video called Stupid Design by Neil deGrasse Tyson, wherein he talks about many of the ways in which human beings are not well engineered and also discusses how hostile the universe actually is to life. I'm including a link to that video in the description section of this video. And here's one example offhand, this tube right here. This passageway, both food and air go through it, which is a serious choking hazard. 4,000 people die every year in America from choking to death on their food. <sighs> Does that sound like a good design to you? Does that not sound like bad engineering? That would be like if on your Toyota minivan, 
the exhaust pipe and the fuel tank were the same hole. I mean, it's kind of funny that we have scientists that are looking for an intelligent life on other planets, but don't even believe in an intelligent creator. And the problem is, if you don't believe in an intelligent creator, how can you claim to be intelligent if you're just a mere oh accident, gosh. if you're just some mere mutation? How can you even claim that you have intelligence? So how is it that I can even listen to any of your theories or hypothesis or any of that junk if you aren't even smart enough to... Wait a minute. Frankly, Josh, that doesn't even make sense. My intelligence, as well as your own, meager though it might be, is the result of a long evolutionary process that can be traced back to prokaryotes, single-celled organisms. Life on this planet began, as far as we can tell, about 3.6 billion years ago. Primates, which is what you and I are, only emerged 60 million years ago. So it took the vast majority of 3.6 billion years of evolution for something even recognizably approaching human to emerge. And anatomically modern humans only emerged 200,000 years ago. But you're right about one thing. We did have a creator, but it was not an intelligent being. We were created by a long and very, very, very slow process. And it didn't design us intelligently. It didn't lay out a blueprint and start building us en masse. We are one of many of the end results, and not even really the end results because this is an ongoing process, but we're one of the many current results of a process of successive genetic mutations through many, many generations. Nothing about the recognition of that simple truth undermines human intellect, though frankly, I find human intellect to be among the most overrated things on earth, but not because of evolution, rather because of people like you who choose to cling to fairy tales and flee from facts. All right, guys, well, I challenge you today to listen to the lesson. Look at the human body. Look at the world around us. Look at the environment that we live in. Look at the cycles that the earth, I mean, everything shows intelligent design. And to claim that you weren't intelligently designed only means you're stupid by your own definition. No, you're stupid by my definition. I'm the Amazing Atheist, and today is the last day that you can buy my shirt. So please do so if you haven't already. And thank you all very much for watching. Peace the fuck out.